Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from ONTC. I'm an experienced OSCE nurse trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE nurse training Cambridge. In today's video, I will be talking about one of your NMC OSCE uh, clinical skills. If you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. It gives me a lot of motivation to keep making some more informative videos for you, hopefully to help you prepare for your OSCE exam. Okay, so in today's this video I will be covering one of your uh, another clinical skills in your OS NMC OSCE exam so this time I will be talking about uh, your uh, skill of which is the IV flush and VIP score which is a visual infusion filibiter score okay so we are going to be doing talking about this station today so I will be telling you what you need to do in this station step by step and also uh, again my top tips for this station so you do not end up making uh, the mistakes which are common fails in this station okay so we're going to be talking about that so let's get started so this station is your 12 minute station okay and so in 12 minutes you need to work out the vip score which is visual in flight in uh, infusion flebiter score from the cannula so they will give you a cannula on the uh, in the one uh, so cannula will be venflon will be in the mannequin's hand okay so you can look at the venflon and work out your score or if you need additional information because it's not cl very clear on the mannequin then you can ask additional questions uh, to your examiner and your examiner will give uh, give answers okay so what they give you in this station is obviously so you need to work out the vip score and verbalize that score you don't have to write it anywhere but you have to clearly verbalize it and then you go ahead and flush the cannula and you need to use aseptic non-touch technique for the part when you're flushing the cannula because that is really important because we don't want to uh, give any infection in that IV line so we need to make sure the key parts which is the the port where you're going to flush and also the front of your syringe you do not uh, touch okay so that that's really really important which we're going to talk about a little bit more uh, during this video okay so what else you're given in this station so you're going to give be a, you will be given a prescription okay so there will be a drug administration prescription okay for the iv flush you're going to give uh, so you will have that and also in your briefing your examiner normally tell you the tray or trolley you need to use is already clean so you don't need to clean it because it's already clean ready to use okay so that save you time to concentrate on your skill so that is normally your briefing and so uh, obviously and also you are given a VIP score chart okay so they also give you the chart to work out your VIP score okay um, so what we go so let's talk about now step by step what we need to do so like I said in in every station you're going to do scene safety close the curtain for privacy and dignity of your patient do full hand hygiene as per who guidance and then you're going to go ahead and do a full ID check with your patient okay because you're going to be administering IV flush. So it's really, really important that you do good ID check. So identification check. So if your patient is in hospital and uh, the patient got a name ban, then make sure you ask for name, date of birth and hospital number and check that that's correct on their name ban and also correct in your documentation so you're matching those details to your documentation and then go and if your patient is not in hospital is in community then is name date of birth and address and of course then you're going to go ahead and check for allergies because i always say id check and allergy check please do it at the same time so you don't forget so check about the allergies with your patient and then match it to your documentation okay so that's really really important so once you have done the good uh, your correct id check and your allergy check you go ahead and explain and gain consent from your patient and then you are going to go ahead and work out the VIP score okay so how do we do that so on the next screen I have put the scoring chart there for you so it is simple you're just looking for signs of phlebitis so of course if your patient doesn't have any signs of phlebitis the score is zero you're going to go ahead and flush that cannula and you will just keep observing it regularly okay so now comes the score of one so if your patient got pain or redness okay one of the two 
okay so one symptom out of the three, uh, two if you will ask your mannequin if you got any pain uh, or you can see any redness or you can ask your examiner if your patient is experiencing any redness at the ventron site so you know any uh, yes to any of the two okay pain or redness will score one okay so then you can still flush that cannula but just keep observing it regularly and then comes the score of two so that is a two out of the three symptoms which is pain redness and or swelling if you got two out of the three the score is two uh, and then like i said if it's not very clear on the mannequin just ask your examiner those questions and then of course if the score is two or more you are not going to flush that cannula you will verbalize the score and also verbalize that this uh, cannula needs to be recited okay this venflon needs to be recited and then your examiner will say assume it's recited and now you can flush it so that's the score of two so if you got pain redness and swelling all three present the score is three if you got pain redness swelling and palpable venous score the score is four and if you got pain uh, redness swelling palpable venous code and additionally your patient is pyrexial got temperature then the score is five of course we are not going to uh, flush that cannula uh, for score two or more okay if it's zero or one Fine. If two or more, then you're going to verbalize the NBC reciting. So that's your visual, uh, you know, infusion phlebitis score, and they will give you this form in exam. So you know, at least then you know now that what this form uh, should look like and what it means. Okay. And then once you have worked out the score, now you're going to go ahead and get ready for uh, flushing this cannula with normal saline. So the normal saline they give you is a pre-filled syringe already. Okay. So this will be a pre-filled syringe. We call it posse flush. Okay. So they already give you the pre-filled syringe. But before you can do that, you should check the validity of the prescription. That's really, really important that you go Go ahead and read the whole prescription starting with your patient name, uh, ID details, any allergies, what is the name of uh, the IV flush, what time is due, prescriber signature. Okay, So that's really, really important to check the validity of the prescription because you're giving a medicine and IV flush is a medicine. So you need to make sure that, you check, uh, that you're checking the validity of the prescription. Once you have checked the validity of the prescription, gather your equipment, uh, you know, make, uh, make sure you clean your hand, gather your equipment, and then you, when you are picking up your IV flush, uh, which is your pre-filled syringe, we call a posse flush, make sure you check the expiry date on it, and also make sure you are checking that it's the same flush as prescribed on your prescription. So you're checking your drug against your prescription chart and also the expiry date. So that's really, really important. And once you have done that, then you perform your hand hygiene and then you apply a plastic apron, disposable apron. Then you take your tray or trolley to your patient. Then you clean your hands again. Then you apply non-sterile gloves. You do not need sterile gloves. You just need to make sure you don't touch the key parts. Uh, so you put your clean uh, gloves on and then you're going to unclamp the line okay so if there is a clamp then unclamp it if there is no clamp uh, then that's fine uh, so on the eye on the extension uh, from the cannula if there is a clamp unclamp it if there isn't then that's fine then find your port and then clean the port using alcohol wipe uh, with 2% chlorohexidine for 30 seconds and let it dry for 30 seconds once you have done that keep holding off the port because you do not want to put it back because it might touch the padding or any patient's skin then it be contaminated again then you're going to take your uh, IV flush which you have already checked so it's all ready to go so you just take your IV flush you attach it to your port you have to turn a little bit to lock it okay so you turn it and lock it and then you can start giving your IV flush slowly okay in a pulsating uh, action that means is you're not going to give all 10 mils in one go why because we need to keep observing our patient for any swelling or any uh, discomfort or pain at the site uh, so that's why we don't flush in one go so it's a stop start stop start pulsating action and then uh, you can give full 10 mils and also while you're doing that keep watching keep verbalizing that you need to ask your patient for any pain uh, discomfort uh, or any swelling there when you're flushing okay so once you have given full 10 mils take it out uh, 
uh, and then you're going to dispose that off in the clinical waste and then you dispose of anything else in the appropriate waste uh, bin and then you're going to take your gloves off clean your hands take your apron off clean your hands and then you're going to go ahead and date and sign the administration record okay so drug administration record has to be dated and signed because without that there is no proof that you have given this okay so that's a really really important that you do that and then after that you're going to do your final hand hygiene and finish the station okay now that's the procedure so okay so top tips now the first one is that you know and revise your VIP score chart so you do not get uh, kind of uh, confused in your exam so if you have already they do give you the chart but if you have already revised it then you know what to look for okay so that's the uh, tip number one tip number two is that make sure you uh, check the validity of the prescription It's really 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 important that you have a valid prescription to give that uh, IV flush tip number three is ID check obviously an allergy check so that's really really important that you have done correct id check and alert check against your documentation so that's really important because most fails in this station is if uh, uh, a nurse misses id check and alert check and also does not check the validity of the prescription that's really important that you do that because you do not want to fail on those points okay so tip number four is, is your aseptic non-touch technique so it's really important that you know uh, how to connect your syringe without touching the front of the syringe to your cleaned port which you have already cleaned and do not contaminate it again and use your aseptic non-touch technique to flush the cannula uh, in a pulsating action okay and the last tip is making sure you do not forget to sign and date your drug administration record because that's really really important because because if you have given something your patient something to your patient then it needs to be recorded and signed okay so that's really important so don't forget that because that is again very common fail in this station you do everything and then you're rushing at the end and you forget that okay so then these are my top tips uh, so I hope you like this video and please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel you can also visit us on oskinastraining.com we provide full OSCE training we all also provide if you do not need full training we also uh, provide just the skills packs or a pie packs to practice and learn uh, so we uh, cater a to your individual needs okay so give us a ring uh, and visit our website I will soon be back with another video on your clinical skills bye for now